that the station of kibr negates the possibility of showing gratitude to Allah. Because the way you show gratitude to Allah is through ubudiyah. And if you're mutakabbir, you're not an abd. Because the abd by his nature can't be mutakabbir. That's why he's abd. The abd by his nature cannot be mutakabbir. And therefore, you can't be a shakur to Allah if you're mutakabbir. It's impossible. So he's saying it negates it altogether. And, and then he says, كَمَا تَوَادُعُ لَهُ ذُو جَرِّي the nature of humility is that it takes you to gratitude. Because when you, when you are in a state that's humbled before Allah, everything you see it in its right perspective. That Allah has been so generous to you. That Allah has given you so much. That you don't deserve it. You're undeserving of it. And that feeling of undeserving engenders in you a feeling of gratitude. Because if you feel you deserve something, like the Moroccans say, لا شكر على الواجب. There's no thanks for something that you deserve. Right? If you feel that this is my wajib, then that by its nature does not engender in you a sense of gratitude towards the person. You just feel like, لا لا لا, أعطاني ما, ما هو حقي. He just gave me my right. You see, so you have to, once you understand that and recognize you are undeserving. And that's why he's saying, حَقِّرْهُ You know, this big mountain of kibr, see it for what it is. It's insignificant, meaningless. And when you do that, you'll bring it down. You'll bring that down. And Allah, we say Allahu Akbar. And that's why even traditionally the Muslims, anytime they saw something in somebody or somebody that, you know, Masha Allah, take it back to its source. Allahu Akbar. Allah is greater. It's a reminder constantly. Allahu akbaru minni, Allahu akbaru minkum, Allahu akbar min ad dunya wa ma fiha. Allahu akbar. Right? And he's al kabir al muta'ali. And one of the things he says to the mutakabir, dhuq in, in, in the kaantar aziz al Now you taste, you're the aziz now. Right? You're this one. So taste the punishment. Tahakkur in Quran. 